This is the Pal Talk News Network. The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of PalTalk.com, AVM Software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online, a production of PalTalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on my blog, GaryBaumgarten.com, where you're encouraged to post your comments, whether you agree with yours truly or not, and where you can subscribe to my Twitter feed, Twitter.com slash GaryBaumgarten, to learn what's really going on in the news. And thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, we're syndicated to an additional 12 million households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. I welcome you to the show. Yesterday, uh, coincidentally, we were talking about protests that were being held in 20 cities across the United States, including Atlanta in front of CNN Center and in New York City in front of Time Warner Center, complaining about Lou Dobbs. These were a group of Latinos who believe that Lou Dobbs is anti-Latino uh, because he opposes uh, illegal immigration in the United States. I expressed yesterday that I had difficulty following that train of uh, argument, uh, given the fact that I have not heard him personally anyway attacking Latinos. I've heard him attacking those who are in the country illegally. And I don't see anything particularly wrong with that, and I don't know how that translates into being anti-Hispanic. Uh, today, we see a similar issue involving the BBC in uh, the United Kingdom. There's a fellow whose name is Nick Griffin. He's the head of a party called the BNP Party, which is a national, British nationalist party that uh, is only open to Caucasian membership. And I think without fear of a contradiction, I can call it a racist political party. And uh, there is a program uh, that is taped and then later aired at, on the, by, by and on the BBC where they interview uh, leaders of political parties. And today was Nick Griffin's day in the spotlight. And there were scores of people out in front of uh, BBC's television center in London today attempting to block him and prohibit him. Well, see for yourself. Boaz, uh, play the video, please. Uh, we, uh, we've been in communication uh, with the BBC. Uh, the Metropolitan Police, uh, who are extremely politically correct, have been, up until recently been uh, very, very unhelpful, as they were in College Green with this, when this um, same bunch of uh, pro-Labour uh, thugs were attacking us there. Uh, so I don't know what the position is for the police is now. We will go in if it's safe. We are certainly not going to fight our way through. It's the job of the police to maintain uh, law and order on the streets of Britain and nobody else. So you will not be going in if you think you can't go through the main entrance, is that right? We will go in if we can get in. I'm not fussed which entrance we go in. If they had a helicopter pad, we'd have come in by helicopter, but they haven't. We will get in uh, if we can do so uh, without having to force our way through a hostile mob because it's the job of the police to deal with hostile mobs and not anybody else. You know, uh, Boaz Franco, what I find most shocking about that interview that Sky News had with uh, Nick Griffin as he was attempting to find his way into the BBC Television Center? No, but you're going to tell me. I cannot believe that the BBC doesn't have a helicopter pad. I mean, every television station, local or uh, network national in the United States has a helicopter pad. I mean, w what a backwards network not to have a helicopter pad. Unbelievable. He uh, eventually worked his way through with the help of the uh, Metropolitan Police. There was once a land where the weather was very, very strange. Thank you. 
Thank you for that, uh, Boaz. Um, and he uh, worked his way in, and he managed to arrive for the taping. And during the taping, people in the studio audience booed him. Now, this is a news program that the BBC uh, produces. And I think one can say that BNP party leader Nick Griffin is newsworthy, whether you agree with the guy or not, and I don't particularly agree with him. He is newsworthy, and isn't it the responsibility of our news organizations to ask critical questions and ferret out information from guys like this? Now, I will tell you, as a person who has absolutely no love for the Ku Klux Klan, I once interviewed the Grand Dragon of the KKK in the United States. I asked him a lot of critical questions, I thought. I guess, presumably, shame, shame, shame on Gary for interviewing the KKK. I guess we should only be interviewing people with whom we agree and not people who we wish to challenge. I mean, I thought our responsibility was to ask critical questions of everyone. And yet, uh, these groups, this group of protesters uh, tried to preclude the BBC from interviewing uh, Nick Griffin. And I think that's wrong. Now, I didn't see the interview. I don't know if even if it's been aired as of yet. And I will be very uh, interested in seeing uh, how well the BBC folks were at uh, pinning him to the wall and asking him tough questions, which is their job. I mean, I've said before, as much as I uh, dislike Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, I would jump at the opportunity to interview him. Like that, I'd interview Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Why not? Ask him some tough questions. I mean, that's my responsibility as a journalist, isn't it? And uh, I guess there might be those who otherwise may consider me friendly to their cause who might protest uh, if I interviewed Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, but I'm telling you right now, I would in a heartbeat. Cassandra in the UK, you're close to this story. Uh, maybe you can fill in uh, some of the uh, points that I have missed. Cassandra, welcome to News Talk Online on the Pal Talk News Network. Uh, thank you very much, Gary. Well, if, you, if you'd seen the, uh, the building, I think the building was built around about the 1950s. 1940s or 1950s, when helicopters were not very much in uh, in evidence in in any um, uh, in in any uh, businesses. So no, they don't have a helicopter pad. Shame on them. Um, it's the same way that we don't have fly screens. But you know, I mean, we live with it. Um, Nick Griffin has achieved what he wanted to achieve. For a start, he's going to be on the, on the Question Time program which will be aired at uh, 10.35. <coughs> Excuse me.